Okay, let's continue our quest for 100 PP. So we've got Ice Statue, but we won't get an ultimate unless it's Vardamon, which is unlikely to say the least. Um, not sure what to get. So let's check. Ah, yeah, that's Remogamon. Can't join the mansion and go in the mansion, so. We need a Numamon. Animon and to pass some time with your Mogamon. Well, I think I still need Ogremon. Missing one spot, I think. I still get the feeling that we haven't met him in the drill tunnel. But... Oh, he's not here again. Um, the remote one ahead. Can't be. He can't be done yet. Where did Ogremon up here? Have we been to the secret cave? I don't think so. That's gotta be it. And now would be a pretty damn good time to to fight him there. I'm like we can, but Mega Seed, because Mega Seedermon is quite strong. It's a hard fight, to be honest. But it should be easy with this Digimon. Um, yeah, we've got more than enough recoveries. Just go to the bank, open up some uh, inventory. Nanimon we can get after. Uh, Toy Town as well, Agurumon, Monzamon. So yeah, next one's gonna, Digimon's gotta be Nanimon. Stupid. 
obviously I've done this because I kicked him out. So we still need a minute drill tunnel. Oh, but I guess I gotta wait until he, uh, <coughs> until the Remalgamon opens up the, uh, the tunnel or what? What is it? Or never really had to like wait for him. So let's check on the mission or something out. Oh well. well. Let's train a bit until uh, to pass some time. Because either way, I can't continue right now. I mean, this one isn't strong enough for uh, for Mount Infinity, so not completely, anyways. Bugging me. Huh? Oh well, wait. It's not gonna work. Yo, 
sel. Oh, I actually woke up at six o'clock when we slept at twelve. When I slept at twelve, and I'm really short on sleep, it feels like. But yeah, <laughs> sleeping is a weird thing from time to time. Uh, not much is up, Fader. Ninety-two. Welcome. Uh, I'm I'm a bit confused though. I mean, I don't know. I have Ogamon, but I've beaten him at the secret beach cave, but he doesn't appear at the drill tunnel. And I can't remember having to wait for Dremogamon to uh, finish his tunnel digging. So I'm 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 kind of confused about that. And basically waiting for him to pass away or Ogamon to pop up, because um, I need an Animon to continue or an ultimate. Like normally, you beat him at the secret beach cave, and he just appears at the uh, I think he, at the, the, the drill tunnel right away, right? I mean, I remember last time I had the shortcut to Mount uh, Mount Mount Panorama uh, before I had uh, Ogremon, or after I had Ogremon. I mean, that's what I can recall, but. Seems to be a bit different now. Ah, hello, the Steve O, the Steve O Pivo. You've been here before, right? Your name is familiar. Seems like a name I wouldn't forget so quickly. Welcome, anyways. Whether it's your first time or not, doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm gonna train him for one more day, just to pass time. And the next day we're gonna check the drill tunnel again. <coughs> I got a feeling he's close to uh, finishing it. It's like five days, isn't it? For him to dig. I think it is. Oh, wait, he's almost gonna sleep, right? Did he just sleep and I completely blank? Forgot about it again? <laughs> oh well. Oh, he's gonna pass away. Oh well. <coughs> So now comes the annoying part, basically. Oh wait, Sid, you knew with what stats I could maximum. Well, I can check it out myself. <coughs> really? <coughs> uh, seriously, <coughs> Twitch is really. Not giving shit to people that do not sub or or whatever. Like I mean, even if I watch the the big streams, well, at least with like five six k viewers, they're still not. Um, I'm still buffering at times. We've got really fast internet. <coughs> what stats do I need now? Uh, I need Nanimon. No more mon, not Nanimon. <laughs> But I want maximum stats to have at least a little bit decent uh, Monzamon, you know, to get somewhere. Um, <coughs> so I think if I get him like one weight, loads of care mistakes. Uh, that'll, uh, oh wait, if I get a lot of camera mistakes and less than 100 speed, because I know that from my Excel file, then I can't get, that will disable, yeah, Birdermon.
everything but brains and then no care mistakes and low weight right training everything but brain would be perfect basically let's hope you're right <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't have a lot of techniques, so I take it that I'm not gonna complete the, the bonus objective for that. Hmm, okay. And what about weight? You had really low weight, right? Sound? What the hell? I need to get rid of the brain chip as well. Yeah, less than 15. Oh. But no care mistakes. It's gotta be, because. Otherwise, yeah, you need it to have no care mistakes. I've got about uh, 20. Yeah, you had none, yeah. Otherwise, you would have gotten Burdermon. Or most likely would have gotten Burdermon, anyways. <coughs> oh, no, wait, you go low brain, but no, if you get, yeah. 100 speed, uh, more than 3 care mistakes, and something else is Burdermon, so... Ah, it's fine, we should be alright though, if you do it that way. Training those stats so the eye is a bit risky though, but... Ah, so... <coughs> we don't care about brains, we don't want defense. Ah, it's all right. We'll see. How did you do it with the weight, though? Did you just feed him a lot of carrots or something? I mean, it's perfectly doable. I'll just buy a lot of carrots and spam feed him that. And I'll get low weight without care mistakes, but... Sorry. Yeah, you ha you've had to. I wait, but the good thing about this Monsmon uh, though is that you actually get the stat increase of uh, of an ultimate. So I don't. Uh, I was thinking like, oh, I need to train as much as possible uh, to get at least a decent Digimon, but it's not that bad. Oh wait, I do want an Agumon, obviously. So I need to get a little bit more offense. He loses his sleep after four hours, so. This is no problem. Okay. What I don't get though is like, I've got a hard time getting a Nanamon, a Numamon these days. But as a little kid, we got them all, we, we had them quite often. I mean, regularly at least, like one in three or something. Like, how the fuck did we do it? <laughs> Need 
YouTube, j'en ai un. Ça va manquer. Twee uur. Dat is precies half één. Ja, dan moet af. Gaining a lot of weight right now, so that's good. Not sure if I recruited Enderman yet, to be honest. He might. No, no, we checked him out for uh, the data stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Jeremon joined as well, yeah. yeah. It's all good. <laughs> I like him. I like Coromon. <coughs> His sound is everything is quite satisfying about him. If you keep him happy, that is. If you don't, oof. His ugly for his mad face is really bad. Like you really don't want to see that. Ah, welcome Necro Skitter. Ah, another interesting name. And new to the stream, I take it. Or at least I don't remember you. <laughs> welcome though. Uh, yeah, I'll buy some veggies. Come on, boy, digital. There we go. Don't train brain and defense. <laughs> well, it's still on time. Just gonna train his offense. Like 
just offense. <laughs> Nothing else. I mean, it's, it's the most important thing anyways. Train him to like seven o'clock with his current sleep routine or active hours, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah. Still no care mistake. He still is, gone, is hungry, so There's nothing wrong. Yeah. Okay, this is perfect. What I prefer, but I guess it's different for everyone. Like, I'm gonna have to rest him anyway, so I tend to wait until he has to poop. And then I go take him for a rest. But if not, if he wouldn't have pooped right now, I would have trained him for once or twice more. One or two more times, and that's it. Otherwise, he would get exhausted. It's not a care mistake. But it does drastically reduce his lifetime. Which is kind of a waste. So we still need a strong Digimon. Although, like, you know, Monzomon isn't gonna be extremely strong. But because we do the, uh, do it through the suit for the recruitment, we still get the, the stat increase that comes with an ultimate Digivolution. <coughs> And therefore this one's gonna be quite okay stat wise. Not really strong because we get the stat reduction on uh, Nuamon. But it's, it's gonna be okay. So I want him to live a bit longer. Or like maximum I can get out of him. Um, because we can do Mount Infinity with him. A little bit of luck. Or maybe get max brain for a ton of justice. Or Good things can happen anyways with him. Yeah. It's... Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, you stay until you got to leave at the training, and then you do everything in those, uh, those screens. So it's it's effective. Did I I slept him only once, right? Fuck. That was stupid. So always sleeping twice. Always sleeping twice. There are certain Digimon or maybe certain types of training that that will allow you to <coughs> get away with one uh, sleep, uh, one hour of sleep, uh, resting, but it's usually not enough. Like if you got a Barkamon, uh, Wamon too, I think, uh, or a Tyranimon or something like that, or Ogremon, he they all eat shit loads. If you keep feeding them sirloins, they're gonna. The, the sirloin itself is gonna reduce the, the exhaustion by enough to like sleep once or not sleep at all, depending on the training. So for a rookie like this one, and me trying to keep his weight low, nope. Always gotta sleep twice in that case. A good thing about getting Nanimon, uh, Numumon, 
No, like, the good thing about what we're gonna do right now, training wise and stat wise, is we're gonna get a, a Numamon which trains shit. But we're gonna basically insta digivolve him into a Monzamon which can train really well. Or, like, at least proper. I mean, there's no really well, but he, tra he trains like an ultimate, so. That again allows us to recover from the uh, from a stat reduction. Right, so this is kind of shitty. That he has to poop right now. We'll still get the meat. I mean, we're in the screen anyways. Fill them up. Let's see, H3, weight 10. I'm very satisfied about that. So his weight is coming along fine. I mean, I only fed him two carrots. Oh, I'm surprised. I mean, he's not getting the eating bug or whatever, so. I'm really, really satisfied about that. So we'll train until half, uh, like until six o'clock or whatever you want to call it. Then I'm gonna rest him twice, not once, twice. a lot of happiness and discipline. Okay, one more. Don't get fooled by the hour though, by the yellow dot. Because, boom, and it's a new hour. It was at the end of the hour, so... You can't always trust the clock 100% when you just look at the yellow dot. But I knew that, like, this is quite safe. Whoa, he poops a lot. whoop de do, And he eats a lot. Hmm. If he eats one meat, though, then he's still losing one weight. But we're low enough anyways. Oh, yeah. We lost weight again. Uh, but anyways... The training routine I use right now is, is very fail safe. Because you rest really early. I mean, you, you know, like, you could stretch it until, like, at this point, if it trained once more, he's gonna get exhausted. But for someone like me, I forget about resting. Or I try to rush through it a little bit too much, you know? And then I always. I tend to overextend. I tend to like keep going too long or, or press the button to train and then think like oh shit I should have rested. So that's why it's it's uh, it's needed that I take it I take it uh, easy or really safely like this. It's one of both. Did I rest him twice? No, I didn't, right? I didn't. Again. Did I? I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> this is just all so automated. Done this so many times. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. I, I don't need, need uh, tiredness values, though. I just know by head and by feeling when, when a Digimon gets tired. Or almost, anyways, because uh, different trainings give different tiredness, but but it's too late when I get that feeling, because I rush it too much. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't mind training. I, I'm, I'm so used to it, but I just do it on autopilot. So that's why I kind of make screws.
Yeah, you can count it, but I would forget to count, or uh, can't, or I couldn't, keep, or I can't keep track of the count, you know, because I'm thinking about something else. Or... I, I do, me, I do it by time and just by gut feeling. Like it, it doesn't matter if. Well, it, it doesn't really matter uh, when you rest up and... Ah, Nemo Rockets in your honor, Necro Skitter. Thanks for following me. Thank you very much. Um, but like, it doesn't really matter when you rest, unless... You, if you train once and you rest twice, yeah, that's that's useless. Because you can't lower it below zero anyways. But like, if you train four or five times and you rest then, or you... You train six times and you're gonna rest, or you rest seven times, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can, re the two rests can fully, are fully effective. That's basically the only criteria, so. It's better to be safe than sorry. Like, this is gonna be my last. Because I was gonna forget it again. And as I pressed X, I, I checked the clock, like, what time is it? And I thought like, oh shit, it's that time again. <laughs> and therefore, if I if I set the tra uh, the point where I rest at maximum, I'll forget it, basically. Two trainings, one rest. That is way too much. That is not necessary. <laughs> because there's food as well, you know. I mean, we used to do it like that, but if you feed sirloin, then it's not necessary to do three trainings to rest. Whoa. Well, depending on what type of training you do, though. Like, if you got a trainer on, uh, forget it, you can train way more. Because he's gonna eat so much. Ah, darn, I'm not even gonna risk it, I'll just give him a port poke. I've had too many times where I rest my... Uh, rest at Centaurmon. And he has to poop. As we've rested. And I get like... I get to a, about the shop, the end of the shop. So almost at the end of this screen, and then he has to poop. See, this is the spot where I'll poop. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's not only the resting that gives rest to your, gives energy to your Digimon or reduces tiredness. It's the food as well. You should take that into account also. As little kids, we used to do uh, three trainings, one chair, and that worked with the puny mon chair. And then later on, three trainings, one centaur mon, but it's it's an overkill. It's not bad, but it's a waste of your time in game in real life. <laughs> Ah, welcome, Critical Errors. Welcome to the stream, mate. Uh, no, I cannot. I cannot. I'm not distributing uh, ROMs or promoting it in any way. Because it's illegal. And you. Well, I think it's not. Normally, it's not illegal if you own the game yourself. And the PlayStation, and if you use the PlayStation BIOS from your own PlayStation. So I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that. <laughs> really? Well, if you've got problems with your emulator, I and you've already retried uh, to install it. And you need a new room, yeah. That, well, that's one thing you could try, anyways. 
Um, but are you sure you're using the newest EPS XE? not like the newest EPSXE uh, would not have such an error but it's something you could try you know or maybe try an older one but it's such a weird error all other games work it's, it definitely sounds like it's a wrong thing Ah, maybe it's got something, it's a bit of a long shot, maybe it's got something to do with the BIOS you use and the, uh, and the game, the game version. Question, but what button is that? <laughs> ah, H5, it should be digivolving into Nanimon. Huh? Makes that noise of a clicking button. That is really odd, you know. Found any button in and this is my world one that makes the clicking sound. And, and you've tried changing the key bindings. The only, it's one of the things I would try at first. You probably tried it, but I'm no expert on emulators or ROMs. So that, that, like, what I'm trying to say is that that's me trying to help. <laughs> Try that. Well, if I were you, I would check out a new room. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be of any help. But it's, it's so weird, like, I've never ever heard of anyone having that problem. I can't think of what, exper uh, what windows are you using. Ah, good. It worked. We've got them on. <laughs> Let's see our stats. Hey, my offense didn't get reduced. Not extremely much, though. My speed as well. Just 40. Ah, this isn't even halved. I don't know why it's, it's that little reduction, but... I'm happy about it though. Um, well, downloading it from somewhere else isn't so much gonna help if you download the set, uh, the the same one. Okay, Windows 7. Which version of ROM do you got? Is it is it the U the US version, the Japanese, or PAL, or whatever? What does it say? And what BIOS are you using? Mm -hmm. Your internet. 
imagine that just crashed. <laughs> Severe microwave overload or... I wonder how my response would have been as a little kid when uh, when this happened, and if we didn't know about it from uh, from uh, one of those gaming magazines. BIOS 101, 1001. The US ROM. Uh. It's kind of nice, and it's glaring at me. We got good stats from this. Very good stats. Look at the MP. This is much better than I expected. Yo, D Wagon. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, mate. Um, I'd, I'd not get a, I'd just get a UE version then. Preferably not the PAL, or you might get a PAL bug. But like, there's a normal UE version, I think. You use the same BIOS, okay. Maybe you two, maybe you could give him your, uh, your ROM. Maybe, maybe. Somehow. Skype, yeah, that's a good idea. Still don't want to talk, okay. Yeah, isn't there like an... Isn't there some weird reason why your game does not recognize the controller or does not use the controller that you've set it up to? Might have something to do with that. What? What? Tell us what I'm going to do. Just a second, guys. streaming right now but otherwise we can do it later though if you want all right so what am I gonna do fight or flight I think I'll just pop in a tremor yeah we'll do it like this we'll just wreck him Like, isn't there a way that your game does not recognize the the controller, that it disables it, for instance? 
Oh, that was good. That was really nice. He got hit by my attack and by the flame breath. Is there any way you can try it on, a, on like a different computer with the exact same stuff? But you've already uh, tried reinstalling everything. Like just re unpackaging it, adding the BIOS, doing all the settings again and again. Yes. Yeah, other games were extreme. Controls. It's just Digimon World 1. few minutes guys um, yeah I'll be back in a few minutes I'm sorry <laughs>
Yeah, sorry about that, guys. But she's in uh, in a bandage with her foot. She's been operated. She's got like a big shoe and stuff now, and crotches, so she needs a lot of help. I'm gonna fight him. Right, it's good money. Huh? Huh? You wouldn't want to fight me. That was weird. Never knew that was possible. Just for the people that don't know, these clear Argamon here, they give a shitload of money. A shitload of bits. And I mean a shitload. If you wanna farm money or bits, this is the place to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, get a good AoE move and just wreck the shit out of them. This is how I got my uh, my maximum my medal for maximum money. I think all of this can give tw uh, twelve and a half k gold. He actually bumps the, he slams his bomb in the ground into <laughs> the tremor. It's kind of cool. Okay, we're gonna finish that one. Aw, oh, that was a bad ultimate, so be it. There we go. Ah, oh, 13 and a half K. So yeah, they get a lot of money. It's well worth it fighting them. Now I just hope Warmon's Mon doesn't one-shot me with his uh, ultimate or his Thunder Justice or whatever. What? It was always in the middle? Really? <laughs> A heart attack, yeah. <laughs> How come I never thought of that? Damn it. <laughs> ah, wait. Um. Please. Yes. I'm never sure if he's always in the small box or not, but I thought he was. I really like how he keeps jumping. I think that suits him so well. That he is kind of frantic, you know, like that, like jumping and and ner almost like in a nervous kind of way. And warm ones are just this this puppet, this doll denied. You know what? I'm just gonna heal him up just in case, because if we get wrecked, well, yeah, we're wrecked. Uh, I don't know if your chat timed out or not. He's pumped up. Yeah, that's what he is. And he does that in a cool way as well. I, again, I think there's a good contrast between the way he does it with his claw and spinning, which looks really dangerous, and uh, the way Monzomon does it. Yeah, there have been people have been saying stuff, yeah. I should have used a uh, thingy. War cry, but so be it. We're really stomping him. I mean, he's only done one uh, Thunder Justice as well. <laughs> I had to say it, you know. I just had to say it. 
Okay, we're gonna go. Yes, there we go. I think that's quite fail-safe, other than obvi the obvious uh, status effect stuff to get, do your ultimate, like after an attack, doing an ultimate. After getting attacked, oh, we got lucky there. After getting attacked, doing your ultimate is a very safe way to do your your finisher. Relatively safe way. Muscle charge, really? We learned muscle charge. <laughs> That's a bummer. Got a gear. Let's try it again. Yeah, you can easily skip them like that, but I just want to fight him. If you do this with a too strong Digimon, you're gonna get a lot of fleers, uh, which is a damn shame if you're trying to farm money. But still, you're gonna get a lot of money from them. Like, 4.5k you pop. Yeah, 4.5k per Agamon. Damn fire tower. Yeah, I've had that a lot. Obviously not all of them will run away, but some will, yeah. But it's still 9k for quite a short fight normally. I'm not sure who I used uh, to farm them with though. I'm thinking like, who was it? What a good old... Confusion Storm is a nice AoE by the way. Oh yeah! The best thing to do... The best to farm this with is a... Um, oh, not having any MPs while well, we're using the, the only Pokemon then. Um, but there's the uh, all range beam, the tech move, the tech AoE move. It's so goddamn good. It's almost uninterruptible. Uh, so that's a not, that's one thing that makes it really strong against multiple targets. I mean that's really important about an AoE. Well, you want to use it against multiple enemies, but multiple enemies means you're likely to get interrupted. But that move is really quick. To uh, like just really little time to interrupt it. <laughs> you ran into it. Oh really? That one that one square I missed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's slow with interrupting them, uh, and it's dodgeable. It's very dodgeable, but it's so good, and it's got good range. And, uh. So what I did, I went for like something, like, something metal. Like I think Metal Raymond can use it possibly, or Valamon, uh, maybe Megadramon, Endramon, Metal Memmon, stuff like that. You know. There we go, that's how we dodge him. Oh, I scratched my head. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh well. More monies. Oh wait, do I even... Ah, this is the first time I see this. Mr. Guide But I'm out of MP so we'll just have to run. So be it. I can't fight it. Wait, what am I doing? I'm so used to Digimon World 3. I've got autopilot, you know. Damn it. Oh no, I can't autopilot yet. I need to go. 
I guess I could autopilot and fly back and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna. Okay, he's happy. Same thing, this time I'm not gonna scratch my head. Yeah, there we go, and you can easily dodge it. Suddenly got a face again. Nanimon again. Uh, but I've got no MP and I need to fight some at least to get through to, to him, so... Nothing here, right? Okay, so we'll get some more MP stuff then. Good. some brain training after that until he either passes away or learns enough moves to be really useful. Either way we're gonna have to train him because he's way too weak for Mount Infinity. So wait, uh, he's at 3k health right now. Yeah, first brain training. There's four moves. We could actually learn all of his moves. I think like we've got quite a bit of offense already. We've got the muscle charge, so getting a high offense is not really necessary. Because I could just do, do it in battle anyways. Let's hope we get lucky though. As soon as I hit lightning justice, it's, it's okay. Thunder justice, I mean. If I get that, I'll train him, I'll train him in health and MP. And a fair bit of speed, a little bit. Now, defense is enough. 
and then we can do Mine Infinity. Yeah, Digimon's cool. I bet it's worse. Like for real, what, what the hell have they got to teach people uh, Digimon here? That is so true, Sid. It's like one size fits all. But well, that's what it, they think it is, but it isn't at all. It's a really shitty. Uh, well, how do you say it? Concept. It's a shitty concept. And on top of that, the stuff you'd learn at school is bullshit compared to the stuff you, you use at work. The knowledge you need at work is like so different from what you learn at school. Come on, emulator, respawn. Thank you. Respawn, come on, man. It's being really sluggish all of a sudden. Got techniques now. Guess we'll rest. Nothing still. Yeah, history class. Like, I've never seen the use of history class. Well, school was actually meant to teach you a lot of stuff. Hey, totally baked. Yeah, right, I know. Like, as if we don't daily realize how shitty we are as a community. Just watch the news and the fact that we've got news on the TV that everyone needs to know what is uh, happening on the other side of the world when you're not gonna do anything. Like, what's the use? It's like, how do you call it? Um, late for Mark, we call it in Dutch. Mm. Like to revel in the misery of other people in a way. Well, we learn that we don't want certain things, but then we kind of don't care because we only care about ourselves. And then there's obviously the fact that you can't influence a whole community that easily. Not everyone can anyways. Ah, but they need to fix school. I mean, it's not easy. It's like, it's basically like medicine, it's like pharmacy. It's, we all give the same medicine to the same people, independent of metabolism, body weight, uh, all that stuff. The same goes for schools. We just apply one method to different types of people who have different types of learning, way of learning. They... I've read about uh, like an elementary school where they um, they only learned the kids the stuff they wanted to learn at that very moment. So if you wanted to read something about uh, history, then they give them a book about history and they'd let them learn stuff about history. If they wanted geography, well then they hey count 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 counter. I've never used that. 
I've never ever used that. I'm gonna use it now. I wanna know what it is. Never ever ever used that move. Never ever. Um, but anyways, that that concept seems a lot better because the the teachers all also said like there's no way you can force a kid to learn something when they do not want to. They can study all they want. Like I mean, it's elementary school. Let's face it. But they just it won't stick with them. And that goes for any age, if you ask me. So much for counter. Oh, yeah, right, we get flat. Um, so they were really happy to apply that, 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 that method, and it seemed to work really well. And it seemed very logical to me as well. Like, I, I couldn't learn, I, I, I just couldn't be arsed with school. I just didn't do much because I didn't care about it at all. But, like, biology, I did. I, I only just I only had to read it and I would get like an eight. That was so easy for me, but I was really interested into it and I, I still am. So what, what what did the counter do? It he ignored his attack and I did mine. I mean he ignored the enemy's attack and then did an attack of his own. Was that all? Well, was that all? That would that would be quite good. It might be the only decent uh, combat move. Yeah. Whoa, that move is really good, actually. That might be the only proper move in uh, in combat in a combat tree. Well, anyways, it's not a technique learned, so. We'll pop in Buster Dive, Muscle Charge, and the Electric Cloud. Well, yeah, there there is way too much focus on just knowing stuff. There's nothing. Knowledge is nothing without intelligence, and that's what a school is supposed to promote. Intelligence, or well, that's what the system should promote. I mean, we all think that university people are really smart, but they're basically drones that can just sum up knowledge. But at least a lot of them in my high school, they had no clue about what to do with knowledge. They could just drum up whatever they learned out of their head. They could citate, you know, and not have a clue what they said. And also, the, the whole school is just, it kind of creates a brain dead person as well. You get forced into thinking like certain ways. And that really makes you stiff. Well, everyone is actually quite creative. Each in their own way, but... It's, don't get me wrong though, it's not easy to come up with a good education plan. But the way to do it now, it's too solid, it's too stiff. But like, what I think is they should quit forcing all these things onto people. Uh, like history, like what's the use of it? Do you really need to get that much history? It's not like it's logic for someone from England to get English lessons. Obviously, you need that to like at least know a little bit about your own language. Like, why would I have to be able to dissect a freaking sentence or know what a verb is? Know that a verb is being called a verb. I mean, if you can talk language, then it's fine, right? You know, you don't have to know all your grammar and stuff that's not what language is about it's not about telling like oh I'm so good I know all the rules about this language like rules don't you don't need rules uh, just to have rules there's you got, people got rules to make everything go smooth go everything correct but if there's if rules are obsolete then you should get rid of them and the same goes for grammar I mean, a lot of people bitch about grammar, and 
But if you understand each other, then what's the use of that different grammar? History really important? No, there's nothing important about history. History is... It's done. There's no reason to know that it happened. What you need to know is what is happening now and what you can do now to make it better in a like when 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 I'm in 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 the future. Let me put it like that. Yeah, language rules. It's bullshit. You know, there's accents. They're, they they naturally form. In the Middle Ages, they, I think they never, they didn't even have the word grammar, like fuck all, but they still communicated. So what's the big deal? It's just being posh. Who made it? Everyone made it. It's a regional game. Uh, re game. Regional thing. Yeah, you can't understand what's happening. Of course you can. Everything that is happening now is happening now. Do I need to know about World War 2? No, I don't need to know about World War 2. I need to know now that without war we're living a good life. So why would you change it? Does it have to be better? If it has to be better, well you can think of ways to do it, but there's no need to know about World War 2. In fact, all those history lessons only create hate against the Germans. Uh, they're still being haunted for it. History is such a bad thing. The only thing you need to know is actual no is your is the current knowledge. And sure, that current knowledge includes some history, because like not everything is being discovered today. But it's just the knowledge that keeps um, being carried over to it to other people. That that's what is what's important. Not whether Einstein thought of the the relativity theory or whether that was Watson. You know, there's no, that is just complete bullshit. We've got gravity, we've got electricity. Oh, we got the telephone, that's all I need to know. And, yeah, definitely, when he died and when he was born, like, what the fuck, man? Do we need to know how much he weighed when he got born, or whether he had a lot of ha hair on his head, or what? Or do we need to know his penis size? No, of course not. What's that got to do with me right now? For all I know, he's composed by now, you know? <sighs> History is totally useless. I mean, I've, I, I really do not see a single purpose in history. I've never seen that. But that's me. <laughs> Yeah, like in music history. Seriously, that that's even worse. Like, pfft. I think that's uh, music is not about history. Music is about what you feel, not what some dickhead created a hundred years ago. And if people still like Mozart today, then that's knowledge of today, not knowledge of a hundred years ago. Like, let's face it, do we really need to know all about uh, World War II uh, to prevent a World War II? If we need that, then there's something absolutely wrong, you know, because I do not need to know, need to be, uh, to be scared of some war because it has happened. And that, like, I don't need uh, to be motivated through fear of something that has happened. For me to not make it happen again. I know that war is not the way to go. I do not feel like war is the way to go. I do not want to fight with all the people, you know. I don't need to be be scared because otherwise like millions of people will die like they happen and blah blah. That's no motivation for me. I just don't want war. End of story. It's not the way to go. There's no one that needs to tell me that. No one needs to motivate me. War is money. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's the same thing as, I guess, as uh, people saying we need a, uh, harsher punishments for uh, any crime, whatever. Or if someone, uh, uh, someone uh, like a murderer, they want him hanged and, and burned and tortured and, and all of that stuff. 
it's not gonna make it a difference, you know? And it, neither should the punishment be a reason for a criminal not to to steal or rob or murder. They, there's something that they just shouldn't want to do that. That's the problem, not so much trying to prevent it through fear. It's just taking things the wrong way. Well, there's nothing to learn from World War II, because we did it back then and we're gonna do it again. That's just the way humans are, there's no learning. If you want to do it, you do it. There's no... That's the thing with a lot of criminals, they're, like, they're so used to it because they grow grew up in it, and then they grow up like, they, they, they change, sort of, in a way, that they're only comfortable, or they only know... Uh, how to act in that specific way there's no fear or nothing that's gonna stop them no history class no jail time no torture nothing it's just the way they are and the way they are has to be changed in order to prevent that and therefore again history is completely useless or any punishment or whatever it just doesn't work They teach everyone that war is a big no-no, and it's it's a, no normal human would want to fight. Every human wants to survive. No human wants to go in and get shot at, because that reduces your risk at life. Oh, yeah. Just a second, guys. <laughs> So, food. Okay. No, because again, the P Hitler was able to kind of seduce the people into following him. It's not about getting that one dude, it's about the mass, the mass being like sheep. And the mass should not allow it. And art is definitely not... <laughs> if, if you say that like, history is important in art, then you've got art all wrong to be honest. Art is something personal, it's got nothing to do with history. Oh, dude, the presidents have got no influence. They're like the Pope. They just put a senile old man at the, at the head of the church, and they influence him by they play him like a marionette. It's it's all just a big scheme. It's all bullshit. That's what I think, anyways. And there's nothing I can change, and I don't even care about it. But I just don't trust it at all. You do realize, by the way, that Hitler actually uh, f felt that every generation should experience a war. He thought it was a good thing. I mean, that just shows that he's different than the most of us. It's so very unnatural to think like that. Yeah, the mass were sheeps. And that's where it where it's wrong, not with that one person. But, I mean, they got coerced though, let's face it. He didn't just tell them, like, I want to rule the world and, and exterminate all the, Germ uh, the Germans, all the Jews. Because that's what we need, uh, Germany. That's not the way he did it. He did it really cleverly, but it's not what the people wanted.
Well, that's the thing. You say it's important because they currently, because currently it is important, but that doesn't mean it is important. That's just the way things have evolved right now, but and that's the way people act. But you know, everyone's basically a sheep. Well, obviously it wasn't just Hitler, but they couldn't have done it without Hitler. I mean, he was so charismatic. He was basically the only one at that time who could grasp the pe uh, the, the the people that uh, and 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 do all of that stuff. Like reading Harry Potter without knowing about World War Two, there's no link to that to be honest. But about art, again, art is a personal thing it's got nothing to do with history it's just you you everyone's got their own way of art their own feeling about art and it's and they they relink it to the history the same way they link they, they determine a price of the painting by who painted it not about how well the painting looks or whatever it's just like oh that's that's from that dude oh well then it's so many millions worth Art is such... It's not fake. Don't get me wrong, it's not fake, but it's 100% market priced stuff, you know? It's like, for me, it's worth 100 million, because it's from that dude. But it's not really that m worth that much, it's just that for that single person, it's worth that much. Again, it's so personal, that's why history has got nothing to do with it. It's all personal. It's all in and now. There's a link to Nazi Germany. Ah, fair enough. So they, they link to it. But that doesn't mean... They link to it because now we, we base a lot of things on our history. But that doesn't mean it's necessary. Just because it is doesn't mean it has to be. We consider it treasure. For me, it's rubbish. I mean, I know jack shit about art. And again, it's a typical case of because it is, it doesn't have to be, it, it has to be. Like. Uh, Van Gogh. What makes Van Gogh so... What makes Van Gogh a hundred million, but... An artist that can paint just as well as he did. And believe me, there are many that can pa paint at his quality. But they will, they are unknown, and therefore they don't get paid so much for their paintings. Yeah, that's looks sweet. Yeah, for, for me, it's rubbish. Or you know, that really modern shit, like a blue square, red square, and then lots of black lines. That is complete bullshit. They just think of some weird tale about their youth, and then everyone gawks at them and goes, oh, oh yeah, so beautiful. Oh, now I see it too, you know. That's just being posh and shit. And then they go, well, 10 million for that. Or you know how they they grab four cans of uh, they they paint like Mr. Bean. You know that scene where he paints his room. He gets a pot of paint and he puts uh, um, a firecracker in it, and boom, all of his his whole room is painted. You know, like that. Well, they do the same thing on on now nowadays for modern art. They they grab a, a pot of paint, they throw it at a at a at a, at a, uh, a cloth. <laughs> Then you grab another pot, they throw it at it, they rinse repeat, and boom, we've got a hundred million. And you can see the rage, because I threw it really hard, and if I'm happy, I will splash it more. Well, that's art. It's his feeling, and just a rubbish story. But because it's that one dude, it's freaking expensive. That is art, and that's completely fine. 
because it's market, it's just market pricing, and uh, there's nothing bad about it. If someone likes it that much that he wants to pay a hundred million for it, uh, I mean, that's perfectly fine. But for me personally, I prefer like Van Gogh stuff, which is like realistic painting, because I think that is very, it's very well done. It, I mean, they're almost replicas of what it used to be, what it really used to be, you know, for, well, within limits, obviously. Uh, compared to the modern art shit. What? Just a second again, guys. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I agree. Games music, I'm a huge music fan. But, like, there's no price on art because it's a personal thing. Ah, last in. Thanks for the follow, by the way, mate. Ah, wait. Uh, you followed me two days ago, apparently, um, but I was offline, so wait, I've got something coming for you. Mm. Well, there you have it. It's personal. For you, music might not be art. You never know. But for me, it's it's the main thing. Uh. <laughs> uh, wait, I was gonna say something that was really that, that kind of solved every the whole discussion. Roll that just uh, that would be my. St ah, there you go. Nipper rockets in your own the last thing. I know it's a bit late, but it's the first time I see you on stream after you followed. Uh, and as you followed offline, I wanted to fix it like that. Okay, so we'll let him... Oh wait, we can... Let's take him to the restaurant. Uh, God, what was I gonna say? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> I completely understand where you're coming from, Sid, but like, let's just say I've got a different opinion. I mean, we can keep on discussing this for hours, I bet. <laughs> ah, but another thing though, about modern art, what I do like, you know the, uh, the urine war? Ah, you were? Ah. And which account is that? I do well thank you to, the, uh, to you then. <laughs> Anyways, his fatigue is gone now, um, but I still need to... He's 12, so we've got a lot of time left. What kind of MPs do I got? Mediums, yeah. I'll rest once and then we'll go to Mount Infinity and see how well he fares. Um, but like about modern art, the, the urine war art thingy, you know that one? Where they just basically tilt a urine war on the back, put it on a pedestal, and then they go like it's art. Cooking. Ah, Augustinius. Ah, right. Uh, cooking. Uh, cooking and art. 
Hmm. Nou ja, ja, nou ja. Het koken zelf is niet zozeer een kunst, hè. Ik bedoel... Een eenpersoons... Uh, een eenpersoons... Of een... Gewoon een eenpans gerecht of zo bijvoorbeeld. Dat kan dan, ja. Ja, dat kan er ook eigenlijk gerecht aan. Ja. Hmm. I don't... I think it's kind of a grey area, cooking. Because someone, like, my favorite patissier is really... He's a... It's creative, yes. It's definitely creative. Or part of it is creative. That's kind of the thing that makes me say it's like a, it's it's a gray area. Because like the 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 uh, patisserie dude, I'm I'm a huge fan of a Belgian one. He used to be a florist, and you can really notice that in all the stuff he creates. It's everything is so beautifully arranged and so uh, it's just really cool. And there you see the, the part which is obviously art, I mean, but it's like the, but the cooking itself is not really an art, it's more chemistry, now the, especially nowadays with the, uh, the molecular cooking, that is totally chemistry, but I agree in a way it's, it's art, and the storytelling is definitely art, because it's, it's a greater thing your mind you have created with your mind. I think that's basically the thing about art. Something that you create with your mind. And therefore, cooking is art. Yeah. I think it should be art, yeah. If you look at it like that. You can post a link, yeah. Storytelling, no. Well, it's the same as visual art. The way it looks. That's definitely the art part. In but what is art? Yo, blade off. I guess a lot of people would agree if we called it creative, but for it to be art, I think that, that might be a step too far for a lot of people. But I'm not like, in the end, it all. Uh, there's a way to skip this, by the way. I'm not sure. You can pass. Oh no, uh, the, the top ones. I think you can cross. But like, I want to fight them anyways. It's funny, so. Like, what's the the real definition of art? The the one that got defined. I mean, everyone has got his own definition of art, basically. As it is with everything. But that, that I wonder. I mean, that's the main thing. You, We need to know what it is before we can discuss what should be considered art or not. And now you see. So, the value I s you see is actually the value it. It is after buffing, or the amount b buffed in total on the muscle charge. I wasn't sure, because like with the uh, the all-round booster, it, it barely boosts, it seems. Not less good. Can't someone Google it? A definition of art. Like an official definition. I'm, I'm really curious. I'm honestly curious. Oh nice, he stunned him for me. And killed him. <laughs> we got a good we had a good uh, discussion going though. That was really enjoyable. And it has woken me up. <laughs> oh the cheeky fucker, he did a last stand.
these Endermons and shit might have something that I can learn. Hell, we might just learn some moves. I'll be clear about Infinity. I mean, that'd be awesome. Huh? Oh, I thought I went the other, like the wrong way to check for, uh, for boxes, but. Creating something that requires a set of skills. But then everything is R. I mean, at work we create chips, so I'm doing R. But I do not consider that R at all. All I do is scan barcodes and move boxes, basically. So, where's the art in that? But I'm creating something. We all are. We need skills for it. Oh yeah, that might be a good uh, idea as well, yeah. A uh, UCC clanger. Critical errors. Just to get rid of any uh, other deeply linked stuff. No, I agree. I don't think it's a good definition. But... Where can we find like an official definition of a word? Like you know, like in a dictionary. Oh, the dictionary. <laughs> Wait, I, I can check it after this fight. Or I can now, as we're wrecking him, anyways. Hey, that was Megalo Spark, right? I think he can learn that, anyways. Lola. Let's make him go rippery. No. Damn it. Just wait, I'm just gonna. Ah, here's one. Here's a, here's a good one. Well, it's not really. I don't think it's. It's the ability to create uh, something beautiful. To create beauty and aesthetic pleasure. Yeah, the the ability to create beauty and um, uh, not create aesthetic pleasure, but to uh, as opwekken in Engels. Uh, that's some weird word we barely use. And to prompt. To generate, uh, to arouse, yeah, rouse, to rouse aesthetic pleasure. That would be the Dutch definition of uh, of art. Your FFT files, what's that then? <laughs> Why? Well, it's definitely creating something. Uh, according to someone's vision. I think that would be the most... For me, anyways, that would be the definition that works the most. I need, uh, I need a toilet break. <laughs> really bad. There we go. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Again. <laughs>
Oh, I'm back. Final Fantasy Tactics, okay. <laughs> Not poop, yeah. Controls still won't work. And okay, um, critical errors. Um, I probably gotta stop streaming really soon. Basically, any moment now because my parents are coming over. Um, but add Krenush. I'll type it in chat to the um, to Skype, and I'll help you out through Skype as much as I can, anyways. My knowledge is limited when it comes to that, but usually in Windows I'm quite strong at problem solving. Oh, my parents are here already, so... <laughs> like I said, anytime. Uh, yeah, well, so... Oh, that's not a bad thing about not using safe states. Like, you can't quit exactly on the spot. Ah, oh, it didn't happen. Okay. Wait, um, just let me save. Or, wait, no, give me all your stats. Your weight, your care mistakes, your techniques. Or no, I'll do it the other way around. Just give me a second, I'll, I'll check the guide on what he, need, what he needs. Oh shit, you're right. There you go. Ah, the, oh yeah, yeah, Enderon, yeah, yeah, that's what he needs. You need to have those stats. Well, you don't need, need. You need three, uh, three values, uh, three criteria to be met. Add me on, uh, add Kranush on, uh, on Skype, mate. I'll help you out. Yeah. 1.9.0 is what he used. Um, but anyways, you need three criteria. So that's you need two of these at least: the stats, weight, and care mistakes, uh, and then one bonus objective. Or you get the stats, weight, and care mistakes. But you need three criteria in total: two normals, one bonus, or three normals. Well, we we got stuck there, so. We'll do um, can't this thing just go now, please? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, cool, mate. I'll help you afterwards. Ah, if you don't have brain, then that stat, that doesn't count. Okay, well then it's not. Then it's probably that. You need you need to have all the stats. That's one point. Then you need care mistakes. That's one point. Did this just really happen? Really? Why the fuck did my character run back? Why? What was that about? Yeah, well, that's what what I need. You've got bon what I mean. You need three points, three criteria to be met, and a bonus objective. Only one, uh, maximum of one bonus objective counts toward digivolution. So that means you need not one care mistake. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, and here we again. Right. Man, oh man, I'm going racing all over the place. I've got an autopilot. Digimon World 3. Great game. I can't get rid of it. I keep forgetting it because I've been playing it way too much. 
Well, you did it by getting the stats, the care mistakes, and the weight correct, probably. Wait, I've got the guide here, so... Uh, Andro... Oops. Enderman, so stats, what he linked. You need... You can have a maximum of five care mistakes, so no care mistakes means you've met that criteria. That's one point. You didn't do the stats, so that's still one point. Um, then you need a weight of 40. And you need 35 to 45 weight, yeah, target is 40. Uh, just a sec, I'm gonna walk here. Uh, so you had too little weight, and you need a discipline. Ah, I know how you did it last time. No care mistakes, a weight of 35 to 45, and you had 95 plus discipline. So, but there's, you, there's three bonus criteria. I'll show you, I'll show you. Let me just save, and I'll put you on the left screen. Alright. Of ja, goed. Ja, ik ben moe, maar uh, lijkt me ook verhaal. Oh, ja, 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 zo was, zo was. Okay, so that's that done. Wait, so I'm putting you on the left screen. So uh, here we go. So what you want to look at is this here. So as you can see, this is one point, all of these stats. That's one point, the care mistakes is one point. This means it can have, like, the number is five, but it, this depends whether it's a minimum or a maximum. And in this case, it's a, it's a maximum care mistake. So that means you can have a maximum of five care mistakes, a zero to four, uh, zero to five, five included. If you get that, that's another point. You get 40 weight as a target, but you can go 5 over or 5 under. Meaning, what Sid said, you need 35 to 45 weight for this to be completed. If you do all of these three, then you've got 3 points. Stats, care mistakes, weight. Means you enable digivolution. The other thing you can do is get 2 out of these 3. So, in your case, what you did was less than 5 care mistakes. And you had 35 to 45 weight, two points. Then you probably had maximum discipline, meaning you complete a bonus objective, which is one of, which is one of these here. But there's a limit to the amount of bonus objectives that will actually count towards your digivolution enabling, and that maximum is one. So you can either get 95 discipline minimum, or 30 battles plus, because it's it says minimum battles. If this has a if this is a one, then it means maximum. Um, but here you need minimum of 30 or minimum of 30 techniques. So you can do one of these and two of these or three of these and zero of these. So as you can see, Andromon is one of the very is possibly the easiest ultimate you can get. 40 weight is easy. This is a really easy, easy weight. I mean, if if you normally feed your Digimon constantly with sirloins, you give him like the minimum amount, he's gonna probably gonna reach around 40. Discipline, getting that high is... I mean, you can do it with feeding and hope you get there. If you don't get there in time, just cold. He's gonna lose happiness, but at least you get maximum discipline. And then, uh, zero care mistakes, which is easy to do but it's also a very good thing no care mistakes means you got a chance of getting a uh, higher uh, tamer level or so I think anyways because there's it seems fairly random because um, like I, my Garumon made me level up for some reason but normally an ultimate is always a level up so but uh, the road to there might give you a tamer level and then as you get the ultimate you might get another tamer level um, but no care mistakes are really good you're gonna get an, uh, a maximum age uh, ultimate, which is great. Uh, but yeah, that's the way to do it. So, like, let's if, if we look at Adamon for instance, again, it's stats, uh, maximum of zero camera mistakes, so no camera mistakes, a weight of 10 to 20, 
and either 50 battles or 49 techs for bonus so this one's quite tricky to get because Adamon means you need uh, Sukumon which Sukumon? no Nanimon Nanimon no is it ah, I'm not sure wait I'm not sure is it Sukumon yeah it's Sukumon obviously it's Sukumon but Sukumon gets his stats reduced by 50% or something Did I, like when I was level 10 and I had a shitload of like on my completed game if I get a Sukumon, a Nanimon or a Numamon I get like 50% reduced stats something like that but in this game I barely had my stats reduced um, but if you're going for Edamon getting those stats is really fucking hard I mean I've tried it with a day one Sukumon and I barely made it or I didn't even make it yeah Digitamamon is from Nanimon yeah because Edamon is, is third uh, nature filth. Because I tried to do the filth uh, thingy, filth tournament uh, for uh, for my one of, in my last game, but it, I couldn't join. <laughs> Only Nanimon, Numamon, and Sukumon. Um, but yeah, that's the way the Digivolution system works. Um, but don't forget that there's like some something I call a priority system um, if you enable multiple Digimon Digivolutions I keep coming back to this because I know this one by head and I know for sure if you get Argamon and you enable all Digivolutions you're always gonna get Greymon always because he's got the highest priority uh, so if you enable Birdermon and Greymon so like, let's say you're trying to go for Birdermon let's look at Birdermon And you get 100 speed, you get less than 3 care mistakes, and 20-25 weight, something like that. Uh, but you train him more and more. You don't just train speed, but you also train offense and defense and brain. And you get 25 weight, means you get him as well. Yeah, and you got high discipline. That means you also enable Greymon. Um as well as Birdermon. In that case you're fucked, you're gonna get Greymon and there's basically nothing you can do about it unless you lower his discipline uh, because you can have maximum of one care mistakes for Greymon but Birdermon needs at least three. See so it's not maximum it's minimum in this case. Uh, so yeah that's another thing you need to uh, keep in mind. But no worries though, for ultimates, I think there's no overlap in stats, or it's really, really hard to, like, fuck them up. Uh, but that's very, very unlikely. So yeah, that's basically how the digivolution system works. Sad thing is though, I do not know all the priorities. It's only to champion an ultimate. Rookie depends on what your highest stat is. If you go one point higher uh, offense, you're gonna get. Uh, if like, let's say you've got everything at exactly a thousand a hundred, but your offense is a hundred and one, you're gonna get Argamon. If your defense is a hundred and one, and your offense is a hundred, then you'll get a Gabmon. Rookies are really easy. Just the highest uh, stat counts, and they're often very logical. Uh, will uh, will give rise to what? Often, <laughs> but but yeah, priority. Uh, you know, if you if you want to make sure you get your pro the right Digimon, what I did. Uh, wait, I can show you. Uh, so what I did is this. So, again, Argamon. Uh, we're gonna take the Argamon line. So, Greymon. Greymon! <laughs> Greymon. Um, let's just. Um, Merrimon. Merrimon is second in line, if, I've, if I'm not mistaken, by the way. No, no, that does not mean. I'll, I'll show you. Maybe you'll get it. What I'm saying when I do this. So there's two more, but let's just keep it a bit easier. So I'm like 
we want to get Berlin one. He's got the lowest priority out of these three. Uh, I'll put him in in priority order, by the way, from right to left. Is that weird? I think it is, right? So I'll do it like this. So it's Greymon priority number one, Merrimon priority number two, Burdenmon priority three, and this is our target. This is what we want, this one here. So what I do is like, I want to get Burdenmon, but I do not want to enable the Greymon and Merrimon. Uh, this might seem really lengthy uh, and slow, but if you do it without all the explaining, it's it's rather a quick method. And it's a very fail safe. So what do we have? You have less than 35. You have 20 techniques, just like me. You got 20 techniques, so this is not completed. We'll aim for a weight of 20, 15 to 25. Huh? Let's just say we do that. So that means we enable this. I'm I'm just putting X's, so that I can count the X's. Three X's means I'm gonna enable the digivolution. We go for more than three care mistakes, so we enable this one. Or we go for three care mistakes exactly. That means he has a max. Uh, this means that this value is minimum. So this one needs minimum of five care mistakes. So I'm not enabling th this. He needs. Um, I can have a maximum of one. So I'm not enabling this either. Means we got two to one to zero. Then I'll get a hundred speed. Means we've got Burdermon. Right? We'll enable Burdermon through this. Uh, but with speed, we do not enable his stats. We do not enable his stats, meaning I get Burdermon. If we have more than 35 stats, uh, techniques, then it's this case. Here, Ventus. I'm just, I'm just quitting as we speak right now. I'm just giving some explanation about the uh, Digivolution system. So, you're a bit late. Two and a half hours late to be exact. <laughs> Um, anyway, so we've got more than this techniques, and let's say we get a weight of 25, for instance, that still enables this and this, but that also enables this, no problem. If we get every stat below, if we got like a thousand health, a thousand MP, no problem. That enables no, that's no criteria at all. But if we get a hundred offense, defense, speed, and brain, then we've enabled this, we've got a hundred offense, so we've enabled that. But we've also enabled Greymon. And if we get 25 weight then, with the 35 plus techniques, means we're going to get Greymon over Burdermon over Merrimon. So what we want to do now in that case, is we're going to lower his weight to below 25 but above 15. We then see that Merrimon is still enabled. We've got three X's here. We've got four X's here. That doesn't matter. It's just more access does not matter. I thought it w it, it did uh, a few months ago, but it, it doesn't. Uh, so still we get Merrimon, not Burdermon. To change that, we go lower his weight even more, or we increase his weight above 35, so 36 minimum or 15 maximum, minus five to go under it. So that's 14 or less, or plus 5 above this means 36, so that we do not enable these uh, criteria. And there we go, we've got two criteria met for Merrimon, two criteria met for Greymon, but we, and this one should be, there we go. And now we've got uh, three criteria for, met for just Burdermon, and that way you'll still get Burdermon, and you can train everything as high as you want, as long as you get three care mistakes or four, but not five, and not less than three. It needs to be three or five. When you have more than 35 techniques, then you can train all you want and you'll get Burdermon. And you don't need to care about the other ones because Burdermon is third in line, priority wise, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might be higher than Tyrannomon. I've, I've got a written away. Wait. We can check, I think. So this is all the stats I uh, I wrote down when I uh, 
when I was still unsure about the devolution system, so I wrote everything down so that I had some correct values that I could trust. But I've made some mistakes along the way, sadly enough. Ah, uh, wait. But, like, the guide I just used is really good. Uh, I can link it if you want. It's a perfect guide, seriously. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Digitalotions. Ah, here we go. Uh, Greymon. Ah, I haven't completely tried that one out, but I know for sure that's Greymon, Merrimon, Burdermon. Yeah. Out of those three, it's that order at least. And here it's Leomon, Barkamon, Kokotorimon, Angemon, for instance. Angemon has the lowest priority. He's tricky to get because of that. Because you're really, it's so easy to enable a um, a different digivolution. Some, a digivolution that you do not want. You really have to be really careful about it. Ah, and Cedarmon, Shellmon, Wamon, no Kulamon, but again, this is the order. And it's not RNG, the priority. The priority is fixed, I'm 100% I'm sure of that. So yeah, that's basically how it works. <laughs> is that clear enough for you? If there's any questions, you can always message me or ask me on chat or whatever. It's one of the reasons I'm streaming. To help people with it. So, good luck with your next Andromon. Don't get Andromon unless you've got uh, Megalospark. Because he's really shit. <laughs> the only good thing about him is, uh, is his MP. But his defense and brain, like, who cares? Okay, well, then I'm going to end the stream here. Um, critical, I'm... Um, I'm gonna log uh, Skype for you to help you out. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna uh, I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> Let's keep it with that. <laughs> so thanks everyone for being here. Uh, thanks for the uh, the double follow. Uh, I forgot your name. I often forget names, but I'm gonna look it up. Uh, La Austin. La Austin. Austin. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember. Getting tax is the way to get ultimates. If you get a lot of tax, you do not need to uh, to get your uh, your stats. Le look at it like this: If you want to go for uh, Metal Greymon, ignore the stats. You go for care mistakes, weight, and a bonus criteria. Sometimes bonus criteria are impossible. Impossible. Wait, Adamon. Adamon is one of the or did no. Let's pick a real cool one. One that is really strong. Digitamon. Ignore the stats because they're high especially early on they're really hard to get so get no care mistakes get a weight of 5 to 15 and get 49 techniques boom you got him so with the tax it's so easy to get him I mean when I was uh, trying to get all the Digimon I couldn't I had a hard time because every champion I had would become an ultimate and I only needed like five or six champions and I wanted them to, p to fade away ASAP, but they all just fucking digivolved into ultimates. <laughs> because I had all the text. So yeah. Any questions, just ask me anytime, seriously. And good luck, guys. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, probably. Yeah. Most likely, anyways. <laughs> Cheers, see ya. And see you on uh, Skype, Critical Arrows.